Hi, in this video, I am going to explain how to find the initial approximation or initial case for finding out the root of equation by using numerical methods. Here we are going to study three methods uh, to find out the initial case. First one is by intermediate value theorem. With the help of this theorem, we can find the interval a comma b in which uh, f of x has a root. We can choose the any value in between a and b as the initial approximation or initial case. Uh, but we are taking the best approximation as the arithmetic mean of uh, a and b that is uh, a plus b by 2. If you don't know what is mean by the intermediate value theorem, uh, please uh, see my previous video related to the intermediate value theorem. Here is the next method to uh, find out the initial guess. We know that the root of the function is nothing but the value of x at which the graph cuts x axis. We can take the any value in the neighborhood of this point as the initial approximation to the root. Uh, see example if uh, our function is uh, y is equal to f of x and this function cuts the x axis at uh, uh, point say x then we can take the any uh, value in the neighborhood of x as the initial approximation um, uh, as we can take any value 2.3 2.4 2.5 as the initial approximation for the problem here is the third method to take the initial guess or to choose the initial guess for the problem if our function is f of x is equal to 0 and it can be written in the form of f1 of x is equal to f2 of x then the point of intersection of f1 of x and f2 of x gives the root of f of x is equal to 0. Uh, assume this is the graph of f1 of x and this is the graph of f2 of x. The point of intersection of these two graphs is this point is x. We can take the any point in the neighborhood of this x as the best initial approximation or initial guess to the root. In this way, we can choose the initial approximation or initial guess for finding out the root of equation by using numerical methods. If you like the if you like this video, please like and share it. For more such videos, subscribe to YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash mathematica. If you have any doubt, write in comment box video related to that topic uploaded as soon as possible or you can like a facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you for watching this video